Hey everyone, I'm Tracy Edmonds and welcome to my channel. So as many of you know, I bought a house on Hilton Head Island in South Carolina and it is a pretty amazing place to live and to visit. So I get a lot of house guests, which I love. Got a lot of girlfriends that come in, friends that come in, family members that come in. And of course my sons are in and out of here all the time and sometimes with girlfriends. So we keep the house really full out here. And through all of my visitors, I've learned how to create the perfect guest room for my guests and how to make my guest room a sanctuary. And I would love to share some tools and items with you to help you do the same. So today I've selected my smallest guest room because I wanna show you guys that the size of the room doesn't matter. First things first. First essential item to create the perfect guest room is you gotta start off with a great bed. Now, decor is, is one thing. And so I picked a real warm, dark wood bed for this bedroom because this is actually the men's guest room here. And so palette wise, I love gray and gray actually blends really well with the rest of my house. But I picked a charcoal gray comforter for the bed because it's, it's very masculine. Now underneath this velvet comforter, it's very important to have a great mattress. So make sure that you test your mattress and that it's up to par with whatever you like to sleep on for your guests so that they're actually comfy every time they get into your bed. Now, great linens are also important. Make sure that your sheets are at least a 400 thread count because you want good quality, soft, smooth sheets for your guests to sleep on. And that way you can feel good at night when your guests are in their bed and know that they are feeling good and they're taken care of. On top of the bed, we've got lots of pillows. Now pillows not only look great as a collection on top of your bed, and so they actually complete your whole bed ensemble and make everything look nice and finished. Now picking the proper pillows to actually sleep on is very important. And you're gonna want the two main pillows that your guests are gonna sleep on to be super comfortable and relaxing and to help induce sleep. Now, as far as the two main pillows that your guests are gonna sleep on, I highly recommend therapeutic pillows. They feel so good against your head and they actually kind of conform to the shape of your head. So it's kind of like a really comfy, cuddly pillow that you're absolutely gonna love. Every single time my guests leave my house, they always ask me what pillows were they sleeping on because they wanna go back home and order them. So order the right pillows. Now on top of the pillows that your guests sleep on, the rest is just decorative. So I love to have an extra set of pillows covered by the pillow shams that are part of the bedding ensemble. I love to have some Euro pillows either in front or in back and one small lumber size pillow to also just kind of complete everything and just make everything look super cool. Now on a broader perspective, paint color is also very important. I truly believe that you should pick a nice, soothing, relaxing color for your guests. Now in here, I chose kind of a dove gray color, a really soft, relaxing gray color, just to make things feel extra cozy for my guests when they're in bed at night. And of course, you can accent the walls also too with your favorite art. Also in all of my guest bedrooms, I also make sure that I include a smart TV. So that is actually on the wall facing the bed so that my guests can actually be in bed and enjoy their favorite movie or watch the news or watch their favorite TV show. All of my guest TVs come equipped with all of the channels that your guests are gonna be looking for. Now that includes Netflix and Hulu and Prime and all the regular cable channels. So everything they can possibly wanna watch is on the TV in their guest room. And of course we've got a nice remote control sitting right by the, the bed so that they can have easy access to finding whatever it is that they like on their TV. 
So the next thing you also must have are the right pair of nightstands to sit on either side of the bed just to kind of complete the whole furniture look. Now for me, on top of my nightstands, I always make sure that I include a pair of bedside lamps because a lot of times your guests aren't gonna wanna have so much light and all the overhead lights sometimes is too much. Sometimes they just want a cozy reading lamp to read a book or to look at their phone. And so that's where these bedside lamps come in handy. So I love those. And then also to always make sure, even though everybody's got iPhones now or droids or whatever, and they set their alarms that way, but it's always kind of fun just to have a nice bedside clock just to kind of remind them what time of the day it is. And I also include this, which is an aromatherapy machine. We've talked about aromatherapy in other previous videos, but for those of you guys who don't know what it is, aromatherapy machines are amazing because you can actually pour essential oil into the machine and it will steam up the aroma of the essential oils throughout the room. So it's really great for people that have sleeping problems because you could pour some lavender in it and help get yourself to sleep. Or if you're suffering from a cold, eucalyptus is really great, tea tree oil is really great. So there are lots of different essential oils for different things that you're looking to accomplish. So I keep the aromatherapy machine here on the nightstand. And when you open the drawer, I have the essential oils. So we've got that. Um, we also have eye masks just for people who maybe have a partner who likes to sleep with the window open and the other partner doesn't. So we've got some eye masks for that. We also have, of course, our remote very close by in the nightstand. I also make sure that I have adapters for all of my guests because a lot of times they come and they forget to bring their adapters and I'm ready for them. And so I've got adapters for different size ports. And then also we've got plug outlets right next to the bed. So we're good to go. Okay, one other thing I always have in my guest rooms is a storage basket where I put extra blankets. There are weighted blankets in there. There are lighter casual blankets in there because sometimes people want to lay on the bed and they don't feel like getting under the covers all the way. So we got blankets at their disposal too. And on top of the blanket basket, I've also included some reading books. And so in case people are curious about the island, I actually have some books on top of the blanket basket that tell you all about the history of Hilton Head and also all the fun places to visit while you're in Hilton Head. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me and allowing me to share some of my ideas on how to get your guest room ready for guests. If you need to find any of the items that I suggested, check out my Amazon store right in the link below. And I would love to hear from you. So if you have any ideas of things that should be added to guest rooms to make them even more comfortable, share them with me in the comments below. Okay, until next time, have a great one. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up for me and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my new channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and make sure that you have your notifications turned on so you'll never miss an upcoming video. Thank you and see you again really soon.